Hi, I'm Terry from Arcan. In this segment, we're gonna show you how to dewinterize your trailer. The key to dewinterizing is you wanna make sure that the temperatures aren't gonna dip below zero anymore and that you're ready to go for the spring. So on this model here, on this specific model, most of our stuff is in, the, in this location that we're gonna show you on the outside, which is, makes this a good for demonstration. So first thing you're gonna to need to do is you wanna put your drain plugs back in from, from last year. So we'll open up your water heater here. All right, so in here we have your anode rod. Now with the anode rod, we're gonna put that back in the tank. We're gonna to wanna to use some Teflon tape to th seal the threads. I have some of that here. So we'll get this anode rod Teflon. So some thread sealant on there. All right, that's simple. Now, we got our wrench here. This uh, anode rod is an inch and a 16th socket. Now, if it's an Atwood water heater, it'll be either a three quarter inch socket or a 15 16 socket. And that'll be for a plastic plug. So this drain plug, we're gonna go ahead and put it on in. Always start the first few, few threads by hand. The reason for that is if it, if something were to be cross threaded, so I got the first few threads there, if something were to be cross threaded and you start tightening with a wrench, you can actually damage the threads in the tank. So now that I got the first few threads by hand, we're gonna go ahead and tighten that up. And just nice and snug. Don't need to go crazy, just that, so that plugs in. Now the other plug, we, we stored it in here for the winter. We have your water plug. So this is for your fresh water tank. Now, now with this plug, we're gonna put it in the fresh water drain. Usually fresh water drain is located somewhere in the vicinity of the fill. So here's the water fill. I'm gonna look under the trailer. Should be under here. And yeah, there it is right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and thread that in. All right, get that nice and snug. Now that our tank plugs are in, we're gonna go inside and we're gonna make sure that our bypasses are still in the winter position. We wanna keep them in the winter position on the water heater just till we flush the pink out so we don't push any of that into the water heater. And we also wanna make sure that the pump hose is connected from the tank to the pump in case you use the bypass hose in the winter to winterize it. So we'll go on inside. All right, so inside we have our water heater. It was located right below this emergency exit. So right here we have our, our master bed. I'm gonna check underneath this bed for our water heater. So when I look under the bed, I see a couple removable panels. One is labeled uh, water inlet and another uh, isn't labeled, but I'm gonna pop this panel off. This should be where our water heater bypass is located. So I have a little drill here. It's nice to have a drill, but you can use a screwdriver if you'd like don't have a drill available to you. So we'll unscrew this panel. All right, remove the panel. So here we have your water heater bypass. The bypass is still in the winter position. That's perfect for what we want. We'll leave that in that position for now. We'll switch it in a few minutes when we have all the system running clear. All right, so next panel we have. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this panel to uh, access our water pump. All right, so here we have our water pump. So with your water pump, this is the suction side of your pump right here. It goes through this filter. This valve right here will either suck from this hose, which goes in a jug of antifreeze, which would be in the up, up position. Or for summer, you wanna turn it into this down position. That will allow the water to suck from this hose, which goes down through the floor and to your fresh water tank inlet. So, we're ready to add water to the system. So let's go add some water. All right, so we're gonna add some water here. You can use the city water or the freshwater tank. I like to use a freshwater tank. Just get all that antifreeze out of the pump, have you ready for the season. So go ahead and here, and we'll add the water. Now we go ahead and turn this on. Fill this up until it's coming out, then your tank is full. All right, once your tank is full, we're gonna go inside and we're gonna turn on the pump. We're gonna flush through the rest of the system. So now that we're 
have our fresh water tank full. We're gonna turn on our pump and we're gonna flush all the pink antifreeze out of the system from last winter. So our pumps, in this model here, our pump switch is located right here. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that on. Now we're gonna turn that on and it'll start pumping. So we want to open each tap, hot and cold. And once the pink's out, uh, we'll go ahead and shut that off. Now that's running clear and do the cold. All right, okay. So once that's running clear, we're gonna go ahead and flush the toilet here. So go ahead and get that, step on the pedal, flush the toilet. Once it's running clear, we, uh, we can stop, okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the shower. So we wanna get that shower and just make sure, so hot. And we got it, once it's running clear, go ahead and shut it off. And we got the cold. Wait till that's running clear. All right. So now we got our shower done. Now we're gonna go to our kitchen sink and run the hot. All right, so now that it's running clear, we go ahead and do the cold. Get all that pink out. Okay, so, so that's all our interior stuff. On this specific model, we have a couple of exterior fixtures we're gonna look at. So we have the outside kitchen, as well we have the outside shower. So we're gonna go out and uh, flush the antifreeze out of those. All right, so here we have our outside kitchen. We're gonna just do the same thing here. Uh, turn that tap on, run it till all the pink is out. All right, once that's running clear, we do the cold side. All right, so the cold's running clear. We got the outside shower to do. We got our hose, we'll just turn on the hot. Get that running clear. And with the cold as well. All right. So now that all our fixtures are running clear, what we need to do next is we need to fill the water heater. So we left the water heater bypass in the winter position. So we didn't take any of the antifreeze that was in those lines and push it into the tank, uh, diluting it into that water, mixing it in there with that six gallons, and then it would take longer to run out. So now that there's no more antifreeze in the lines, we're gonna go ahead and open that pump bypass. So we're gonna go back to the inside of the, under the bed here and we're gonna flip that bypass to the summer position. All right, so these, these valves here, this uses a two valve system. There are uh, bypasses that use a one valve system. As well, there's bypasses that use a three valve system. Basically, the purpose is to divert antifreeze from going into the water heater. So these are two three-way valves. This valve is in the position to allow antifreeze to come through this pipe and back out through your hot lines to get all your antifreeze in your hot side. Now that we have our antifreeze clear, we're gonna go ahead and open this valve and allow the, the new water into the tank. So we'll open that valve. And we have to open the valve on the hot side in this two valve system to allow the hot water out of the top of the tank. So now that those valves are in place, your pump's gonna be pumping um, water into your tank. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna open the hot tap. And it's gonna run for about, it's gonna push water, air, for about two and a half minutes. Your pump has uh, 2.8 gallons per minute capacity and your water heater is about six gallons. So that's gonna take just over two minutes. So it'll sputter and spurt. You'll see that for about two minutes. And once it's done, it'll be running clear and free of air. All right, so you can see now that the air is out of the system. We've got uh, it running freely. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. We're gonna just make sure the kitchen sink is, is running uh, no air in it as well. All right. So we got the kitchen sink going. All the air is out of the line. We're gonna go ahead and turn that off and we're gonna listen for your pump. Your pump's gonna pressurize up and stop. This indicates that you don't have any leaks. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call or uh, stop by one of our many locations. We'd be happy to help. Thank you very much.